Let us open our Bible to the book of Job, Job 13. Job 13. Facing and defeating unfriendly friends. Facing and defeating unfriendly friends. Job 13 verses 1 to 12. Job reproves his friends. Verses 1 to 6. Job, Job has enough with his friends of worthless counsels and does not want to hear their empty words any longer. With self-preference, Job declares that he does not need to be taught by them. Those who dispute are tempted to magnify themselves and lower their brethren more than his feet. He wants to hear only from Yahweh. This is why he calls for silence. While Job's friends think they are speaking for Yahweh, their counsel is wrong. When dismayed and distressed with the fear of wrath, the force of temptations or the force of temptation of the weight of affliction, we should apply to the physician of our souls, who never rejects any, never prescribes a miss, and never leaves any case uncured. To him we may speak at all times. To broken hearts and wounded consciences, all creatures without Christ are physicians of no value. Job evidently speaks with a very angry spirit against his friends. They have advanced some truth that nearly concern him, but the heart the heart on un humble on humble before Yahweh never meekly received meekly the heart of that is on humble that on humble the heart be, the heart on humble before Yahweh never meekly receives the reproofs of men verse verses eight to twelve Yahweh will reprove Job's friends for their false counsel and their empty words. Job tells them, for their counsel is meaningless, of no help, most important, not of God. Job 13 verses 13 to 22. 13 to 22. He professes his confidence in Yahweh. Verses 15 to 19. These solid statement of truth in Yahweh comes seemingly out of nowhere for Job, who is still in his cave of despair, even though Job has no idea why all this has happened to him, and though it seems quite unfair, he is now going to trust Yahweh with his life. Job is learning to trust Yahweh more and his faith is growing. He sees Yahweh as his salvation. Job, Job resolves to cleave to the testimony his own conscience gave, gave of his of righteous, of right, of rightness. He depends upon Yahweh for justification and salvation the two great things we hope for through Christ temporal salvation he little expects but of his eternal salvation he is very confident that Yahweh will not only be his savior to make him happy but his salvation in the sight and enjoyment of whom he should be happy. Verses 20 to 22. 
before asking Yahweh to show him his error, Job asked God to remove all the adversity and let him rest a while. He knows himself not to be a hypocrite and concludes that he should not be rejected. We should be well pleased with Yahweh as friend, as a friend, even when he seems against us as an enemy. We must believe that all shall work for the good to us, even, even when all seems to make, to make uh, against us. We must cling to Yahweh. Yet, though we cannot uh, for the present find comfort, at, in, comfort in, in Him, we must cling, we must cling. Uh, on, on him. In a dying hour, we must we must derive from him from him living living comforts, and this is to trust in him, though he slay us. Job thirteen verses twenty three to twenty eight. Job entreats to know his sins. Then Job concludes that Yahweh is punishing him for something done in his youth. This is a distorted viewpoint. Yahweh brings us through trials to, to stretch our faith, not for the purpose of revenge or intimidation. Job begs to have his sins discovered to him. A true penitent is willing to know the worst of himself. We should all desire to know what our transgressions are, that we may confess them and guard against them for the future. Job complains sorrowfully of Yahweh's severe dealings with him. Time does not wear, does not wear out the guilt of sin. When God writes bitter things against us, His design is to make us bring forgotten sins to mind, and so to bring us to repent of them, as to break us off from them. Let young people beware of indulging in sin. Even in this world, they may, they may so possess the sins of their youth as to have mouth of sorrow for moments of pleasure. Their wisdom is to remember their Creator in their early days that they may have assured hope and sweet peace in conscience as the solace of their declining years. Job also complains that his present mistakes are strictly noticed. So far from this, Yahweh does not deal with us according to our deserts. Our deserts. This was uh, the language of Job's melancholy view. If Yahweh marks our steps and narrowly examines our path in judgment, both body and soul feel his righteous, righteous vengeance. This will be the awful case of unbelievers, yet there is salvation devised, provided, and made known. In Yahshua Hamasira. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Let us move to the prayer point parts. Zechariah 3, Zechariah 13, 13, verse 6 says, I quote, If someone, if someone asks, What are these wounds on your body? They will answer, 
the wounds I was given at the hands of my friends. And I quote, Perhaps you have been wounded in the house of your friend, you, uh, who, who you did not know was your terrible enemy. Perhaps too, you do not even know the root of what you are going through. The enemies of your breakthroughs are often around you those you call friends and family. I quote, But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed jars among the wheat and when he swear, end of quote, quoting Matthew 13 verse 25. Who are the enemies that Yahshua HaMashiach is talking about in this passage? First, they are powers that are on duty for from 20 midnight up to 4 a.m. That is why they are called dark powers. Second, they are evil spirits, not your physical parents, neighbors, or friends that offended you at home or in the office not flesh and blood, but evil spirits. Third, they are the adversaries. They are the advers they are the adversaries of any person that calls himself a Christ follower. For every Christ follower, every true Christian must know that he or she has an enemy. So if you are the type of Christian who believes everyone is your friend, then one that visits at night be in trouble. Be, 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 the, one, the one that visits at, at, at night be, be in trouble because Yeshua himself has an enemy, the one that visits at night. Fourth, he is, he is no other person than Satan and his emissaries. The Bible describes Satan's agents as principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and the spiritual forces of darkness. The agents, agents of the enemies are demons, witches, and wizards marine spirits, occult powers, etc. How do you deal with the enemy of breakthroughs that Yeshua the Messiah talked about in Matthew 13 verse 25? You do it best by applying the principles of Ephesians 6 verses 13 to 18. We have to pray aggressively against unfriendly friends, the enemies of our breakthroughs. Most of these prayers will be statements to stand for warfare along with Yahshua HaMashiach. Let us pray. Every power that must die for my breakthrough to manifest, die now after the order of King Uzziah, in the name of Yeshua, every power that must die for my breakthrough to manifest, die now after the order of King Uzziah. In the name of Yeshua, every power that must die for my breakthrough to manifest, die now after the order of King Uzziah. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Every enemy of my appointed time, be terminated by the hand of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, every enemy of my appointed time, be terminated by the hand of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, every enemy of my appointed time, be terminated by the hand of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. You that hand, you that mountain, you that mountain boasting against me, your time is up, scattered by the earthquake of Yahweh. 
in the name of Yeshua, you that mountain, boasting against me, your time is up. I scatter by the earthquake of Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua, you that mountain, boasting against me, your time is up. Scatter by the earthquake of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. My problems face the anger of the finger of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, my problems face the anger of the finger of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, my problems face the anger of the finger of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Every arrow of unfriendly friends backfire by the Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Yeshua, every arrow of unfriendly friends backfire by the Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Yeshua, every arrow of unfriendly friends backfire by the Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Every magnet of dark, darkness in my life break into irreparable pieces by the storm of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, every magnet of darkness in my life break into irreparable pieces by the storm of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, every magnet of darkness in my life break into irreparable pieces by the storm of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yahshua HaMashiach, my Savior, knock out every darkness in my life. In the name of Yeshua, Yahshua HaMashiach, my Savior, knock out every darkness in my life. In the name of Yeshua, Yahshua HaMashiach, my Savior, knock out every darkness in my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Every power assigned to kill my joy. Hear the word of Yahweh. No one can curse the one God has blessed. I fire your curse back to you. In the name of Yeshua, every power assigned to kill my joy. Hear the word of Yahweh. No one can curse the one God has blessed. I fire your curse back to you. In the name of Yeshua, every power assigned to kill my joy. Hear the word of Yahweh. No one can curse the one God has blessed. I fire your curse back to you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah will pray. Father Yahweh, bless those who bless me. And uh, the one who curses me, curse them. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bless those who bless me. And the one who curses me, curse them. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, bless those who bless me. And the one who curses me, curse them. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let the enemy enter into the grave he has dug for me by the earthquake of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, let the enemy enter into the grave he has dug for me by the earthquake of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, let the enemy enter into the grave he has dug for me by the earthquake of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, arise for me and separate me from all unfriendly friends. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, arise for me and separate me from all unfriendly friends. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, arise for me and separate me from unfriendly friends. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Divine invisible finger of God appear for me and trouble all my unfriendly friends. In the name of Yeshua, divine invisible finger of Yahweh appear for me and trouble all my unfriendly friends. In the name of Yeshua, divine invisible finger of God 
appear for me and trouble all my unfriendly friends. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Any agent of darkness masquerading as a, as a friend be exposed and be disgraced by the lightning, uh, lightning of your way. In the name of Yeshua, any agent of darkness masquerading as a friend be exposed and be disgraced by the lightning of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, any agent, any agent of darkness masquerading as a friend, be exposed and be disgraced by the lightning of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Any spirit of poverty deposited into my life by any unfriendly friend, Come out and go back to your sender by the blood of Christ. In the name of Yeshua, any spirit of poverty deposited into my life by any unfriendly friend. Come out and go back to your sender by the blood of Christ. In the name of Yeshua, any spirit of poverty deposited into my life by any unfriendly friend. Come out and go back to your sender. By the blood of Christ, thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Any unfriendly friend speaking under the demonic announcing against my life, I cancel your word by the blood of Christ. In the name of Yeshua, any unfriendly friend speaking under a demonic announcing against my life, I cancel your words by the blood of Christ. In the name of Yeshua, any unfriendly friend, speaking under a de demonic announcing against my life, I cancel your words by the blood of Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Every embargo placed upon my life by my association with any unfriendly friend, scatter by the Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Yeshua, every embargo placed upon my life by my association with any unfriendly friends, scattered by the Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Yeshua, every embargo placed upon my life by my association with any unfriendly friends, scattered by the Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, I totally surrender my life unto you because only you have the power to destroy all the works of darkness. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, I totally surrender my life unto you because only you have the power to destroy all the works of darkness. In the name of Yeshua, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, I totally surrender my life unto you. Because only you have the power to destroy all the works of darkness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I put my total trust in the Lord Yeshua. I believe that he loves me and me. And uh, he desires my spiritual, material, and financial prosperity. In the name of Yeshua, I put my total trust in the Lord Yeshua. I believe that he loves me and desires my spiritual, material, and financial prosperity. In the name of Yeshua, I put my total trust in the Lord Yeshua. I believe that he loves me and desires my spiritual, material, and financial prosperity. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. I have complete, absolute, uncompromising, and unshakable faith in Yahweh. I believe that he has the ultimate power. In the name of Yeshua, I have complete, absolute, uncompromising and unshakable faith in Yahweh. I believe that he has the ultimate power in the name of Yeshua. I believe. I believe 
I have complete, I have complete, absolute, uncompromising and unshakable faith in Yahweh. I believe that he has the ultimate power. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am ready to blindly obey any instruction the Spirit of God will give me. Even though some of them may seem unreasonable or irrational for me. In the name of Yeshua, I am ready to Oh, blindly, to blindly obey any instruction uh, the Spirit of Yahweh will give me. Even though some of them may seem unreasonable or irrational to me. In the name of Yeshua, I'm ready to blindly obey any instruction the Spirit of Yahweh will give me. Even though some of them may seem unreasonable or irrational to me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I'm ready to serve Yahweh and do the work of an evangelist. In the name of Yeshua, I'm ready to serve Yahweh and do the work of an evangelist. In the name of Yeshua, I'm ready to serve Yahweh and do the work of an evangelist. Thank you, Lord. Unto your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am determined to live in absolute righteousness and spotless holiness. In the name of Yeshua, I am determined to live in absolute righteousness and spotless holiness. In the name of Yeshua, I am determined to live in absolute righteousness and spotless holiness.